The credibility of IFA Awards has always been questionable, what with every actor in attendance taking home a trophy. What's laughable is that at times organizers have created new categories just to appease some stars, but thanks to Saif Ali Khan, Karan Johar, and Varun Dhawan, their insincerity is now out and open. In a bid to take pot shots at Kangana Ranaut, the trio confirmed what a sham the star studded award ceremony is. Varun Dhawan received the best actor in a comic role for his work in Dishoom, which by the way was a disaster. And after he picked up the trophy, he joined host Saif Ali Khan and Karan Johar to take digs at Kangana Ranaut, who had raked up the nepotism debate after she called Johar the flag bearer of nepotism in Bollywood on his show Coffee with Karan. When Dhawan arrived on stage, Saif told him, You are here because of your papa. To which Varun said, You are here because of your mummy. Not one to be left behind, Karan added. I am here because of my papa. The trio then chanted, Nepotism rocks. Varun and Saif then sang, Bole Chuniya Bole Kangna from Johar's film Kabi Khushi Kabi Gum, to which the filmmaker reacted, Kangna Nahi Bole To Acha Hai. While just the fact that it was so well coordinated and synchronized, we know that Varun Dhawan knew from the beginning that he'll be receiving the award and this entire thing was staged. How else would three people chant Nepotism rocks together? They are into telepathy or was it some kind of sorcery? You tell us. In an attempt to make fun of the super talented Kangna, they ended up making a joke of themselves. While Kangna will continue to roar, these three shamelessly declared how prevalent nepotism actually is in the industry. This is what happens when mediocrity gets awarded. People become delusional. It's time to smell some coffee, Aifa. Your host just gave away your little secret. Kangna, I just wanted to ask that recently Mahesh Bhatt has packed you up about the nepotism code. So what do you have to say about that? Because initially... So just a request, we really do want a question on fashion. So we are here to talk about style and fashion. It's really not the platform. So can I have someone who has a question on fashion? I would like to say that such discussions, like I answered my earlier question, that you know such discussions are um, very important these days, and it is not to object uh, to anybody's preferences. I'm talking to you. Please look at me because I'm personally answering your question. Just so that uh, you can be satisfied. So, uh, so it's not to. It's not an objection. If you're talking about nepotism, it's an observation. I, as an individual, my prerogative is to leave my footprints behind for the ones who will follow me. And it's important that they know where I fell, where I walked, where I stayed, and where I ran. So it's important for me that I talk about my own experiences, not to say that you know, people should not do what they like to do, but to, to make um, you know, what is relevant should be relevant, not because someone doesn't speak English or someone has sweat patches because they've come in a rickshaw for an audition or someone is sharing an apartment with 10 people in an uncool location. They shouldn't be shamed for that and, and, the, and the doors shouldn't be shut on their faces because of that. And I feel uh, why I was avoiding it because it's a long answer, but also the fact that uh, that today in an industry we have a lot more democratic environment is also because of people like us who've been working at it. I see newcomers easily say, "Bhai, I English me baat nahi kar sakta, main Hindi mein baat karunga." You know, so it's because we have made it appear cool, isn't it? So we are going to make outsiders feel and appear cooler, and that is my prerogative as an individual. If I don't do that, then you know, I'm not, you know, what is the purpose of my journey? So th this is a healthy talk. I mean, what Bhatsab said is his perspective, and everyone ha uh, has had perspectives to it, but outsiders who come in, outsiders as in, what is an outsider? An out there's nothing called an outsider. We're all working to make uh, cinema, you know, and anyone who's working for some other intention is an outsider. So A, I don't consider myself an outsider. B, whoever comes from unconventional background, they should work towards it and not call themselves, oh, we've been lucky enough because we did not face any discrimi discrimination or, oh, you know, we were the chosen ones because, you know, industry has accepted us with open hands. No, no, because people like us have been working at it. You know, if today people are working with actresses who come from, you know, indie film backgrounds or are, niche, so-called niche backgrounds, is because we, we have made it uh, mainstream today. Today we can say that a film like Queen has been made mainstream because people worked at it. So we should all work at it, you know, and not to point fingers and not to make it sound like a fight, but to make the society more democratic for everyone, okay?